Hello guys, welcome to Art Cars official YouTube account. This is gonna take a while for us to get used to, especially since I don't normally record myself. So please, please cringe with me. But anyways, today I'm gonna be showing y'all my old, old artwork. This is this is stressful, very stressful stuff in here. Really messed up proportions everywhere. Prepare yourselves. I don't know what I'm gonna take away from this, so I don't know, but let's see ya. So, okay, I'll go to the worst, sa, the worst one of all. Oh, I can't find it. Okay, okay, this is like probably um, seven, eight years ago. Okay, I think that it probably wasn't that long ago, but I'm gonna keep it that way just so you know it builds up a, a momentum for me or something like that. Okay, so this was <laughs> okay, this is not bad. Uh, you know, it's like a, a storybook thing. This is by my cousin. We were both into art back then, so like we both used to share. Oh, 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 hold on. Let me get it out for you. You can see better then. This file actually consists a lot of his work more than mine. Because we used to trade artwork a lot. Or more like I would take his artwork more than he would take mine. So yeah. Maybe this is a really thin paper, so just thin paper. I still keep them. I remember I used to love something about this book cover caught my eye and so I kept it and I drew it. I drew the cover, yes, I drew it multiple times actually. But I only came I only I only found this one, this one piece. I don't know where the other all the others went. Yeah. So this is like probably I think and safe to say one of the oldest ones that I have. The ones before that I don't know where the hell it went. So sad. I wish I had it though. I should have saved it. Okay, these are also extremely cringy, but um probably from um five years ago. According to what it says five years ago, but I don't want to say it's five years ago, you know, so I'm going to say seven years or eight years ago, but actually five years ago. So, there with me. <laughs> I remember when I first opened Instagram. Actually, yes. When I first opened my Instagram account for my art, these were the things that I posted. And after a while, I actually deleted my account because I got so... Um, it angered me so much to see... Like a bunch of other artists post amazing artwork and I always, it affected me in a way, like it made me feel like, oh, I can't do that, you know. So it's like, it's something you're not supposed to do as an artist, like don't compare yourself to other people's progress. But that's exactly what I did when I first opened my account, so don't do, don't do that. Don't make the same mistake I did. Yes. So like my childhood was not happy because of that, because like I never validated what I made. Thanks to Instagram. But now... Now I'm happy. Yo. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. So, come cringe, cringe with me. Oh my goodness, bro. Bro. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I used to draw for this like this, so... Okay, okay, you see the date, you see the date. Ah, okay, last two, five years ago. Let's see, look at me. I'm so shy to show you the date. Okay, I think these are like still in my experimental stages. Uh, so, like, still curious about everything and... I still am curious about everything though. I'm very much curious about everything. But more towards wanting to implement that into my actual work. <laughs> I think that was just whatever I felt, you know? Okay, I think this one was quite happy when I made it last time. Yeah, I was quite happy with this one. I still remember how I felt. I think it was like, my first time doing a lot of shading, I guess. I think it was. I'm not very sure actually. I kind of like that one also. Oh, okay. This is this is a cross. Painted this back then as well. You can see how how messy this is, right? Like it's not consistent at all. So it's a, I was everywhere experimenting with everything. Okay, this book is all over. There's some things that are not shouldn't be seen there. So I will skip through those. <laughs> ah yes, yes. Okay, this one. This is actually Mother Mary and Jesus, but as you can see, all the proportions here, my, my goodness, very painful, very painful. I'm fine. I know I have a lot of this book, but I just have like steady look through it. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, oh, I forgot a name. Ah, Nija Banot, yes. So this is Nija Banot, supposed to be Nija Banot. 
once again, and this was like five, six years ago, okay? So this is supposed to be Nija, but no, I remember watching a, a movie based on her and I was so inspired. So I drew her. But now, so I didn't like this as well. I didn't like how it turned out. That's supposed to be her. What else do I have? Ah, okay, this one is okay. Uh, I think it's like one of my, like taking, starting to take it seriously. So one of my practices with the eye. Can you see how most of these are pencil? Because I originally started with pencil and I used to do only pencil, anything pencil based. Because art supplies are very expensive. I mean, now, no, no, I wouldn't say very expensive, but back then that was the idea I had in my head. That it's very, very expensive, not affordable. So I would only use pencil and then like from that I gradually went into different paint. But now I paint mostly in poster colour. Like all this, the one at the back, is also a poster colour. Yeah, but it's poster colour on wood. So I'm trying out a new brand for that one actually, it's actually Pantel. And it's quite good, like, I love, it's so smooth. But okay, back to the topic. Ah, uh, okay. I remember back on Instagram, uh, when I first opened, this was a very famous topic. It was always fighting fish. I think this is a fighting fish line, I'm assuming that the tail is a fighting fish right now. But, yeah. I think that's what it's supposed to be. But this is a very famous topic, which is what inspired me to draw it back then as well. I was like, oh, everyone's doing it. I'm gonna do it too. Okay. <laughs> this is not so long ago. <laughs> 11 oh. Ah, recognizable, right? Ah, 11. Finn. Okay. I don't think y'all would have recognized Finn, nah. But it's supposed to be Finn Wolfhard. Painful. This is a pen drawing. I'm, I'm, I can't remember the movie. It was inspired of a movie, quite recent at the time as well. I think it just released. We went and watched Assassin's Creed. Yeah, 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 Assassin's Creed. This one was based off Assassin's Creed. I like the movie. Yes. I drew another giraffe, I think like two years back. I don't have it here though, do I? No, it's not here. We'll go to that one later. It's not here. This from back then as well. Now comparing this one to that, I, I do see improvement as well. But that one was, that was also quite some time ago, like over a year plus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was supposed to be my friend, I never completed it. Uh, this does not look anything like her. I think this was like when I was uh, starting out with portraits. And you know, bro, I didn't even complete it. Like, I was that frustrated with it. <laughs> it was supposed to be her. She's really pretty, yeah. Uh, so this one is an uh, understatement. Ah, so no, it's okay. <laughs> Once again, famous topic on Instagram. So boom, I had to draw him as well. But not like I had anything specific. Boom. Any more eyes? Ah, yes. Boy. So there is. It doesn't look anything like him. This is a. Uh, this is. Mm -mm. No, no. Not anything like him at all. But yeah. Um, my boy. My boys. My boy, Darwin. Love them. Still do. I still watch them. Never get bored. Porridge. I won't try flipping this here now. I think there's like quite a lot behind this. Oh, courage. This is like the days when I started practicing now. Uh, so. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a mix of everything actually. Whatever inspired me back then is what I drew. Yeah, boom. <laughs> yeah, this was the time, man, getting into portraits. This is how we all start out, so it's fine, you know, if you're just starting out with portraits or anything, it's absolutely fine. You have to start somewhere, right? So don't stop when you feel blocked or if it gets too pressuring. Take, take some time off, but don't stop from developing what you begin. Does that make sense? Yeah. I hope so. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. This is actually me. I drew my own self-portrait back then. But, okay, I'm actually very, very happy with the progress I've made from here. This is how I drew back then. Self-portrait, guys. I think it looks like me, 
I guess, because I drew it, so I feel like it does, but... And this is when I had long hair as well, so... <laughs> and <laughs> that's how I do it now. So yes, progress, practice is important. Very, very, very important. I think this shows, this actually shows how, how important practice is. Okay, I think the rest are, the rest are also quite, quite... <laughs> I don't know if I had a thing for clowns or something back then. And uh, yes, I was always I was always into pet animal portraits, but I only usually do them in pencil. And like once I got into facial into portraits of people, I kind of stopped pet portraits. So if I was to get back to this I'll definitely struggle to get back on track. But this is also not, not where I wanted to be with my portraits. I wanted it I wanted to get back to originally back then, but I just gave in I guess to concentrating in on one topic first. Oh <laughs> the colours. I think this is like off of printers, I think. I mean, I got my inspiration off of printers. Yeah. Okay, what else? Yeah, it's off from this book. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the next one. Okay, this one is like, I think, two years back. So I'm going to show this to your last. These are also quite old. So this one, I think you can see improvement here, but it's still quite off. So you'll be able to tell the proportions are off. It's still quite visible. But compared to the previous one, much more. I started practicing shading and, you know, more, more uh, um, usage of more different materials, cotton swabs and whatever I could find actually. I never really spent a lot of money on art supplies back then. So whatever I could get my hands on, I would use those. And I would keep reusing those. Yeah. So. I kind of like I like these upcoming ones. I remember being so proud of them when I first got them done. So I spent a lot of time on this, especially with the shading, you know. But now when I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> bruh. But yeah, I'm sure everyone you have to you get you get the faces. Maybe ten years from now, I'm gonna look at this one and be like, <laughs> girl, what you doing? But not anytime soon, I guess. I'm obsessed with this movie, by the way. But you know, I mm, yeah. Okay, better. Not like he looks like him, but um, yeah, he doesn't look anything like Nitiri. That was my obsession back then. Not anymore. Or is it? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, always loved Michael Jackson. This is kind of flipped. I think it looks a little better here since it's flipped here. But yeah, even here you can see the proportions are off. The glasses are not aligned. A lot going on. I think I was like on a very experimental stage here as well. Trying to do hair, trying to get, get things aligned. But yeah. These practices are very important. You have to make mistakes to learn. You know, like when I was much, when I was in this phase, I, I struggled with that idea, but I just wanted the end result, and I'm you know, not getting them. This is when I started taking it seriously. I guess trying to get like I was just really, really trying to get into portrait by this point already. Yeah. Well, thanks to all of these. Yeah able to make progress okay this one i combined three pictures off of pinterest i think and then i drew this so it's, it's honestly just three different pictures that's why i did that it doesn't make sense at all like mm -mm -mm. yeah it doesn't make sense at all but i was going yeah but even this one you can see how bad the proportions are actually like with her neck and her jaw nothing aligns here but i'm i'm okay with the shading i guess and this paper isn't wasn't the best quality as well because even now looking at it i can tell how much it while i was shading just a normal cotton swab i can't remember what what paper this was but what paper this is but it's weird it ripped so much while shading like just looking at it now still visible this is when i start, first started acrylic painting i think this like i have to after this i never really practice acrylic so it is like my first two but yeah, this? Two, three years ago, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even look at this one. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I was so proud of this. This took me forever to do. But then, you look at the proportions, though. Look how off all the proportions. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I still, I still, I'm, I'm still happy. <laughs> Okay, these ones are quite recent. I think it was this that, um, how I started 
uh, what's the word? I started getting myself into grayscale. I started getting interested in grayscale after exploring this book. I think this one really opened my eyes to grayscale. Something about it. Oh, wait, this is actually quite recent. I didn't get this to this to anyone. So, oh, uh, oh my, actually. Okay, this is actually quite, quite messy. Let me show it all anyways. This one is quite, I think, from last year. Yeah, so it's, it's almost abstractish. And it flips. And then you see, guys, the bottom here. I wasn't happy with this one because I, I, I don't know, it just kind of messed it up, I guess. It wasn't what I originally want, not originally wanted it to be. None of my pieces end up the way I want them to be. But this is just way off, I guess. Well, you know, completely <laughs> not what I was expecting. But it was an experiment. I was using my black and white and experimenting with lines as well, trying to incorporate them into my pieces. Okay, anyways, that was quite recent. Please. Oh, wait, is this acrylic as well? Yeah, this is also acrylic. Okay, yes. Boom. Another acrylic piece. This is for a collab on Instagram. So when I first, um, when I opened my first Instagram account, right, we used to have a lot of groups on Instagram with like, a bunch of different artists from different countries. And we would have a lot of collabs. So like, this is for one of them. I think it was for Save the Turtles or something. And um, the plastic in the ocean. Yeah. I think it was for that. I can't remember. I can't really remember, but it should be. I remember doing one for that. Yeah, so you can see how my grayscale slowly comes in. But these were all um, references off of Pinterest. So I would get the person off of Pinterest and I would do the background on my own, uh, out of my own idea. Or I would find some other reference for the background and incorporate two pictures together to get the background. So again, again, I would use my the same graphite that I used for my previous work for this one. So I would do the background in paint and the person in. Normally that's just the face in pencil. Because I was trying to get into paint at this point. Oh, something is falling. <laughs> uh, this one wants to peek. Okay. This is a failed Jessica Langdon portrait. Like, I was so happy with the hair, okay? The first time I painted this, I was so happy, beyond happy with the hair. But then, I kind of destroyed the face, so, you know, I just painted blue over it and bye bye. So now it's just there. All. I'm just gonna go very quickly through this. This video is already really long. <laughs> These are all just my slow face slowly getting into grayscale here. Yeah, that's my auntie, not completed yet. Mm, that's about it. I can't find any of my older pieces, but that's all the ones I have to show you all today. So, finally, guys, I just want to let you all know don't stop practicing, it's very important. You're gonna come, you're gonna face times where you're gonna be like, no, this is not for me. You know, definitely. I think all of us go through that. You're bound to go through that. You're going to try to explore something new, a different medium or a different subject, and it's going to get hard. But don't give up because you you get it. You just get it. You just have to keep practicing. That's all. That's all it takes. Practice. I know it's easy to say and hard to do, but trust me. Don't stop practicing. Really, just don't. You'll get there. You will get there. In time, you will. Okay? It's, and it's very important. Don't downgrade practice because... And the basics as well. Get your get your basics done. Get your basics covered and then you slowly, gradually move on into different aspects and try to grow your skills, you know? Yeah. Now, it took me... Like, when I was much younger, I, w I desired to paint what was in my head. Like, the visuals that I had in my head going on in my head. And... Now I feel like I'm not able to do it completely, but I am able to do it to a certain level. I'm still trying to get go further. I want to be able to do it more, much, much more. And I hope y'all take inspiration from today's video as well, so don't stop. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry, it's going to be 20 minutes already, but <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you.